Hey everyone, so if you're watching this, I'm about to demonstrate to you how to use the UMC 404, that's the Behringer, the Euphoria, for inputs, a bunch of outputs. We're not going to talk too much about the outputs today, we're mostly going to talk about the headphones and how to play back an instrumental track and record uh, a mic or two or three or, you know, up to three. You can have to use up to three because... We're gonna end up using this handy dandy cable. This is the headphone jack cable. Let me see this up close. TRS, eighth inch, to XLR out. And we're gonna put this cable, you can see TRS, to uh, XLR. So we're going to put this cable into the any of the slots really, but I like to just do four. So we're going to pop that in there. Okay. And then we'll grab the other end of this. And it's a, once again, tip ring sleeve. You can see the little, little tip ring sleeve there. And then we'll pop that in here into the computer. Might need two hands for this. Okay. It's in there. I guess it goes in nice and easily. You can get these on Amazon. It's just an XLR to TRS <clears throat> eighth inch cable. And then what we're gonna do is do a quick demo on, let's see if I get the layout up here. Okay, so here we go. This is the basic setup you're gonna to wanna to have. Notice I have a five, six something there and there's only you know four ins and outs on the UMC. So what I did was I went to audio MIDI setup and I created an aggregate device. To do that, you just hit the plus button down here and then you enable whichever of the options you'd like. In this case, we're going to click the UMC 404 HD 192K and the external headphones, which represents the headphone jack on the MacBook. If you're using Windows, uh, it may be different. I'm not sure how, I think it's it's more intuitive uh, on a Windows, but for Mac, you actually have to go into audio devices into something called audio MIDI setup. Once you've done that, you may need to go into IO and just map everything, make sure everything in the buses look correct. You should have one, two out, three, four out, five, six out, um, and that should equate to the one, two, three, four, and external headphones, one, two. And to verify that, we can also see that it's here in our outputs, and our inputs should be one through four. If you need to make any adjustments, just add new paths, make sure the inputs are all mono, and the outputs are all stereo, as well as the bus paths for the outs are all stereo and selected under the check mark boxes here. Okay, so the next thing is press OK. And you'll see here, once again, I have one, two selected. You don't really need this one, two, but I like to have it set to one, two, just to keep everything the same but make sure at least you have the five, six out. And the other reason I like to have the one, two uh, is because then it's easier to do a playback by switching the mix knob on the UMC Euphoria to playback, which should be to the right, this button to the right. And to the left is where we're gonna wanna do for recording. Notice that we have the cable going from the XL, the sorry, TRS eighth inch to the XLR here. You really don't need to send any more signal. It's gonna play the signal right through uh, the MacBook. Make sure also, if you can see that, there's a little headphone icon up here, or go to sound settings. Make sure external headphones is selected so you can control how much of the signal from your computer is also being sent out of Pro Tools because the headphones that are in Pro Tools that are selected five, six, or up here five six is the same out as the what's connected to the computer's uh, headphone port. So I just you know pressing up and down on the 
speaker. So find the right volume and make sure you don't have any distortion when you're playing back uh, the instrumental track. And yeah, you should be able to have pretty solid audio sounding recording. I noticed that um, the one and two seem to be a little cleaner than the three, four. So I tend to just kind of stick to one and two. Um, the other issue with it is that uh, if you do select um, three or four as your input for this mic, because this is what's connected to the, to the microphone right now that I'm, uh, I could show you, but I'm not going to because it's a little more work, but this is how it works. Uh, is You have it in one or two, make sure mono is selected. Otherwise you will only hear it in one side of the earphones. And then A is also selected. See here, there's an A, B, make sure it's out and not in if it's in then you will only hear what's played back through three and four um outs which we aren't even using because that's a whole other thing so um anyways hopefully this video is helpful to you uh please like and subscribe and hope to hear from you soon thanks